Good morning, children. Welcome to AIMS India's online classes. This is biology session. You are watching Diversity in Animal Kingdom, Part Three. So, children, we have been discussing uh, about the classification of animal kingdom. What are animals? Animals are the multicellular, heterotrophic, eukaryotes that exhibit different patterns of organization of several types of cells. You know, in the animals, uh, the levels of structural organization, if you consider, there is a cellular level, tissue level, organ level, organ system level. So, so far, we have touched cellular level, is not it? What is cellular level of organization? Cell aggregates found in the organism. In which animals the cellular organization is observed? Sponges. Okay? And we have started tissue level. What is tissue level of organization? The cells performing same function arranged into tissues. It is found in sealant rates or need area. Okay? And um, these animals uh, classified into different uh, types. The animals can be diploblastic. We come across this term diploblastic means the cells arranged in two embryonic layers. Example for diploblastic uh, animals, sealant rates. Okay? And triploblastic means the cells arranged in three germ layers. In which phylum we find this triploblastic? Platy elements to remaining all phyla up to chordates. Okay? And coelom. What is a coelom? Coelom is the body cavity which is uh, lined by mesoderm. And uh, this uh, coelom classification is also based on the presence or absence of coelom in the given animal. Okay. Coelomates means the animals which possess coelom. We come across this uh, coelomates from Annelida, Mollusca, Arthropoda, Echinoderms. These are coelomates. Pseudocoelomates. Pseudocoelomates means uh, in these animals, uh, mesoderm does not line the body cavity and is present between the ectoderm and endoderm like uh, scattered pouches. Example, nematy helminths, acelomates, acelomates means uh, like we have seen in the porifera. The animal in which body cavity is absent are called, uh, you can see in the, in the sponges this body cavity is absent. Okay? The animal in which the body cavity is absent are called acelomates, porifera to platy elements. Okay? Porifera, cilient rata, okay? and um, anilida up to platy elements. There is no coelom. Okay? Okay, children, in uh, Porifera, we have completed in the last class and we studied the classification also during the embryonic development. The mesodermal cells form a rod like structure on the dorsal surface, it is called as a notochord. The animals with notochord are known as chordates, and the animals without notochord are known as non chordates. The non chordates include several phyla. We have completed the phylum porifera. The phylum, phylum porifera include which animals? Sponges. Okay, they are usually marine, asymmetrical, with canal system is present. The central cavity present in the sponges that is known as a spongoceal. That is not coelomic cavity, just a cavity present in the central part of the body of the sponges, it is called spongoceal. It is lined by 
special cells called collar cells or cyanocytes okay and the body is a pore porous porifera okay porous means the body having several apertures minute pores these are called ostia and uh, the water enters through ostia and moves out through opening called uh, osculum and uh, their skeleton consists of uh, spicules or spongin fibers okay they are hermaphrodite in nature means male and female present in the same organism okay the fertilization is internal the larval forms are distinct from the adult okay example for the sponges cycon spongilla u spongia etc okay and nid area also we have started nid area means cylindrates they consist of um, aquatic marine sessile radially symmetrical animals they possess tentacles uh, the tentacles are present over the body over the mouth for the defense and offense the body contains special cells called nidoblasts that's why or nidocytes that's why they are called uh, nidarians nidoblasts are used for uh, anchorage defense and capture the prey they show polymorphism okay let us study more about the cylindrates are you ready children let us proceed the characteristic features of nid area cylindrates are radially symmetrical what is the meaning of radially symmetrical okay on the basis of symmetry animals are can be classified into asymmetrical and symmetrical okay so this symmetry is again bilateral symmetry and radial symmetry radial symmetry means in any angle you can cut the organism into equal halves okay radially symmetrical tentacle bearing aquatic organisms so all are aquatic all nidarians or cylindrates they are aquatic they are mostly marine marine means live in the sea water but a few are fresh water forms okay they may be solitary means which you can live alone or colonial live in groups they may be sedentary or free swimming okay and uh, head and segmentation is absent in these animals in nidarians head and body segmentation is absent tentacles encircle the mouth in one or more whorls whorls means rings okay just like petals of a flower okay they are used for uh, these tentacles are used for food capture and defense these are all diploblastic animals diploblastic means the cells are arranged in two embryonic layers they show the what are the two embryonic layers ectoderm and uh, endoderm in between the ectoderm and endoderm a jelly like uh, mesoglea is present mesoglea is a tissue present in between the ectoderm and uh, endoderm okay this is the hydra they possess it possess the tentacles okay it is a typical example of nidarian next uh, next characteristic feature the nidoblasts are important uh, defensive and offensive cells they are useful for food capture they are useful for food capture mouth is present anus is absent okay mouth leads uh, into a central cavity it is called uh, coelenteron so that's why they are called uh, coelenterates okay the name coelenterate how it has come uh, the mouth leads into a central cavity called enteron or coelenteron hence they are called, named as uh, coelenterates the coelenterates are uh, acylomate just now we have discussed uh, coelom is absent body cavity is absent because there is no true body cavity or coelom 
hence they are acylomates. Respiratory system, circulatory system and excretory system are absent because these are primitive animals. Okay? There is no well developed respiratory system, circulatory system or excretory system. All these activities have takes place uh, by body surface by means of diffusion. Okay? These are radially symmetrical animals and uh, examples of these uh, we can uh, consider Hydra, Aurelia means a jellyfish, Pernatula, these names you have to remember children, Aurelia, jellyfish, Pernatula, it is also called sea pen, Gargonia, it is also called sea fan, okay, Meandrina, it is a brain coral. Corals and coral reefs are also come under this silo, uh, this uh, cylindrates. Okay, Physalia. Physalia is also called Portuguese man of war. Portuguese man of uh, war. Okay. So these are the examples of uh, Nidaria. Okay, children. Next phylum. Platyhelminths. They are also called flatworms. Platy elements, they are also called uh, flatworms. These are first triploblastic animals. Triploblastic means the cells are arranged in three germinal layers ectoderm, endoderm, and uh, mesoderm. Outer ectoderm, middle mesoderm, and inner endoderm. The body is bilaterally symmetrical. Bilaterally symmetrical means we can divide the organism into two equal halves in only one plane. Okay? Elongated and dorsiventrally flattened. These platy elements are uh, elongated and dorsiventrally flattened. That is why they are called flat worms. Okay? They possess a mouth but no anus. They either free living or parasitic or uh, hooks are both for attachment to the body of the host. Either they live freely or parasitic. Parasitic means they live in the host. Next, uh, they reproduce by mostly sexual reproduction and a few asexually. Okay, examples for this platy elements, planaria, tapeworm, liver fluke, etc. Okay. So this is a uh, planaria, belongs to the class Turbillaria. So, this um, is a typical example of uh, this uh, flat worm. It possesses sensory lobes or auricles. It possesses narrow cord. It possesses gastrovascular cavity. Generally, in parasites, uh, the digestive system is poorly developed. Okay? And uh, the eye spots surrounded by ganglion, narrow ganglion, suppose, and brain is absent. Okay? Next phylum, ASCII elements or nematy elements, or simply it is called nematoda. Okay, the nematode body is also bilaterally symmetrical. Okay, and triploblastic in nature. However, the body is cylindrical rather than flattened. That's why they are also called round worms. Okay, see. These are, um, there are uh, tissues, but no real organs, although a sort of body cavity or pseudocelome is present. Okay? They are pseudocelomates. What are pseudocelomates? What is the meaning of pseudocelome? Mesoderm does not line the body cavity and is uh, present between the ectoderm and the endoderm as scattered pouches then it is called as a pseudocelome. Okay? There are, these are very familiar as parasitic worms causing uh, several diseases such as uh, the worms causing elephantiasis, phylariasis, okay? bodhakalu in uh, regional language. So, elephantiasis or phylariasis caused by phylarial worm. Ucararia brancofti. The scientific name of this uh, filarial worm is Ucararia brancofti. 
or the worms in the intestines round worms or pin worms tinea solium ok. So, you can uh, see till now in the up to platy elements there is no sexual dimorphism they are hermaphroditic in nature, but from here onwards uh, there are distinct male and female organisms are present. So, the female uh, animal is uh, somewhat uh, large in size compared to male ok. Next, uh, next characteristic feature the disease which is caused by ascaris is uh, in uh, human beings it is called ascariasis. The ascaris is commonly known as round worm because uh, this worm is round and elongated, but pointed in both ends. Ascaris lumbricoids, the scientific name is Ascaris lumbricoids. It is a full scientific name of the round worm. It is the most commonly intestinal worm in man. It belongs to the phylum Ascihelminths. It lives as an endoparasite in the lumen of the small intestine. Lumen means the space in the intestine is called as a lumen. Okay. So, Ascihelminths are also called round worms. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and pseudocoelomate animals. They possess a free living aquatic terrestrial or parasitic adaptation ok. They are dioecious means they show male and female separate fertilization is internal with sexual reproduction. Then uh, excretion occurs through excretory pore ok best examples of this um, ASCII elements or round worms. Ascaris that is the round worm commonly, Ucraria filarial worm and Ankylostoma duodenum. Ankylostoma means it is a hook worm ok. They cause uh, various diseases in humans, elephantiasis ok is an example, Ascariasis another example ok children. So, in the today's class we have completed the three important phyla nidaria, platy helminths, ascii helminths. So, what are platy helminths? They are called flat worms, ascii helminths, round worms. Flatty helminths are also bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, but acelomate. But whereas ascii helminths, they are pseudocoelomate, is not it? Most of the platy helminths are endoparasites and even ASCII helminths are also parasitic in nature. Platy helminths they have specialized cells for excretion and osmoregulation. So, that, that uh, the extra point we are covering now. So, the excretion takes place by means of special cells they are called flame cells they are called uh, flame cells and uh, platy helminths possess a high regeneration capacity high regeneration capacity ok. So, whereas uh, in uh, ASCII elements excretion takes place through excretory pore, whereas in platy elements flame cells and examples for platy elements are flat worms, tinea solium tapeworm, planaria and fasciola hepatica liver fluke ok, whereas ASCII elements example um, Ascaris lumbricoids that is round worm, Ucraria brancofti filarial worm and Ankylostoma duodenale hook worm ok. Ok children read the book. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates.